Hello children, welcome to Ekdali Story Reading. Today we are going to be reading some stories from around the world. I have a story called A Flat for Rent by someone called Leah Goldberg. She actually wrote this book in Hebrew. Okay, it got translated to English by somebody called Braha Kaplan and it's illustrated by Harinder Singh. And this book comes to us from National Book Trust. Okay, so let's get started. At the edge of a valley so quiet and pretty stands a five-story building far away from the city. Who lives here? On the first floor lives a big fat hen. She is at home all day long, never leaving her bed, hardly able to walk. She's so very well fed. On the second floor lives a cuckoo bird. Her children are scattered. They live far away and visiting them takes up most of her day. On the third floor lives a black cat. Very pampered and clean with never a speck. There's a ribbon of silk neatly tied round her neck. On the fourth floor lives a squirrel cracking nut after nut. Oh my, what a sight. He enjoys every minute from morning to night. And on the fifth floor, there was Mr. Mouse. But a few days ago, without saying goodbye, he just packed up and left. And no one knows why. So, with paper and crayon and a nail slightly bent, they hung up a sign. A flat for rent. From all over the town, they began to arrive to see the apartment on floor number five. First came an aunt. With keys in hand and hardly a sound, she opened the door and looked around. Everyone came with a smile and greeting. They tried to be nice at this very first meeting. Do you like the rooms? Yes, I do. Do you like the kitchen? It looks so new. Do you like the hallway? I like that too. Then of course you'll stay. No, no, no. Why not? The aunt explained. I don't like the neighbors. I'm always so busy and running like crazy. How can I live near a hen who's so lazy? She's at home all day long, never leaving her bed, hardly able to walk. She's so very well fed. What an awful thing to say. And the aunt just went away. Next came a rabbit with children aplenty. How many were there? Maybe 15 or 20. She hopped up the stairs and with hardly a sound, just opened the door and looked around. Everyone came with a smile and a greeting. They wanted to be nice at this very first meeting. Do you like the rooms? Yes, I do. Do you like the kitchen? It looks so new. Do you like the hallway? I like that too. Then of course you'll stay. No, no, no. Why not? I don't like the neighbors. To live near the cuckoo would make me upset. She can't even find all her children, I'll bet. That's not what I want. I want all my bunnies to be around me. What an awful thing to say. And the rabbit just went away. Next came a pig. He noticed the sign and thought to himself, this might not suit me just fine. He rolled up the stairs and with hardly a sound, just opened the door and looked around. Everyone came with a smile and a greeting. They tried to be nice at this first meeting. Do you like the rooms? Oh yes, oh yes. Do you like the kitchen? I'd like more of a mess. Do you like the hallway? It's okay, I guess. Then of course you'll stay. No, no, no. Why not? I don't like the neighbors. Look at me. I am so white. And look at the cat who's black. I can't share a roof with a creature like that. The poor cat was shocked. All the neighbors were too. 
pig we don't want you now get out of here without further delay the rude pig went away next came a nightingale with a voice oh so sweet he sang as he flew up the st stairs what a treat he opened the door and hardly a sound just stepped inside and looked around everyone came with a smile and a greeting they tried to be nice at this first meeting do you like the rooms mm, yes do you like the kitchen mm, yes then of course you'll stay no i won't stay i don't like the neighbors the squirrel cracks nuts from morning till night it makes such a racket it's really not right what would i hear when i open the door deafening noise and thundering roar i need to hear music so sweet and so clear and such noise is not good for my sensitive ears saying so she left next came a dove as polite as you please she flew up the stairs with the greatest of ease she opened the door and with hardly a sound just stepped inside and looked around everyone came with a smile and a greeting they tried to be nice at this very first meeting do you like the rooms they're very narrow do you like the kitchen it's not very roomy do you like the hallway it's dark and it's gloomy hmm. then of course you won't stay oh but i will this apartment's just right and having such neighbors will be a delight the hen has a beautiful crown and the cuckoo's the loveliest bird in town the cat's black coat is shiny and bright and the fun loving squirrel cracks nuts day and night it seems to me we can all live together as good friends and neighbors in all kinds of weather so the dove moved in the apartments just fine she hums and she coos nearly all of the time at the edge of a valley so quiet and pretty stands a five story building far away from the city there the cuckoo and the squirrel the hen the cat and the dove live together in peace in friendship and in love and so we come to the end of this beautiful beautiful story that talks about how neighbors should live together in friendship and peace thank you for listening to ekdali story time bye bye till i see you next